Uh, by far the easiest way to build an interaction and storyline is using the marker feature. Uh, we get a lot of requests of uh, people asking, how do we customize markers? Markers have come a long way and Articulate's cr created some really cool uh, features within the marker that you can easily use. But let's talk about those things that are a little bit outside of what you can do just out of the box. So let's insert a marker and get started. So markers are found here under insert and you can see there are 10 categories. When I'm doing a custom marker, I tend to choose the blank one. So I don't really need anything in the marker because I'm going to change all that anyway. And then I just select where I want that marker to go. Now, some of the new features Articulate has about resizing are great here, but for now, I'm just going to move this marker uh, label over here to the side um, and just talk about what do I want to do with the actual marker itself. So one of the things you want to keep in mind is markers have states. So if they have states, you can edit those states. So I'm just going to come down here first and take the pulse off uh, the animation here. So I don't really want that because that's going to look a little bit weird on my custom marker. So I'm going to go to none. And then I'm going to come down here and hit edit states. And I'm just not going to add a state, but I'm going to edit the normal state. So I'm going to take the fill out. And I'm going to remove the border. Now you can still see where the marker was. And there's a, a small little plus sign right there that you might be able to see. Uh, that's showing you the top left-hand corner of that marker. So that's going to be important for me to know where my marker actually lives. So now I can put anything on this uh, state stage that I want. I could even insert, uh, you know, any picture from um, content library. So if I wanted to come in here and maybe it's we're looking at um, a machine. I'll just type in machine. That ought to give us something. I don't know if that's going to be valuable for us or not. Uh, but now I can resize this. And what I want to be sensitive around is if this is where that marker originally lived, you see that plus sign? And I have that label coming off the side. I want to make sure this is going to work with that. So if I put it there, we're just slightly overlapping that label. This image now, and I can make it as big as I want actually, will, will be the marker. So I'll hit done, and then I can come in here and kind of see, all right, that's a little bit close, so maybe I hit edit and move this image a little bit to the left, and now you'll see that the marker's going to spin off of that quite nicely, and I'll come and add the title. This is the title. Oh, wow. This is the title, and then I'll just put in some random text here. I'll do some lorem. Ipsum text. And so now we have this marker here. Markers are great that they automatically add a scroll bar when you put in too much content, which is nice. So now that I've, I've finished editing the state, the picture's in there. If I preview this, I'm not going to see any pulse or anything like that. I could add that um, using the emphasis animation. But when I hover over the picture, I see the marker. When I click on the picture, I see the content. So really, when it comes to customizing a marker, anything, characters, images, shapes, whatever you want, you just go in and edit that normal state, and you can make anything your marker.